hello hello so throughout the years I've had a lot of people ask me to kind of make a video game collection video and I've never really done that before um, I collect a lot of things but mostly video games and there's kind of a lot to go through so I guess we're gonna do that and I might as well also show you sorry my floor is very squeaky and you're gonna hear that a lot my floor makes a lot of squeaks and creaks but we're probably gonna go through the stream area as well because maybe people are curious it looks pretty crazy but um, this is the kind of wall that you don't see while I'm streaming I got plushies up here on like Amazon basic shelves and my pin collection and my really squeaky floor that you can still hear you're gonna hear it through the whole video I'm sure but that's my pin collection and some cute plushies and snacks and drinks and stuff going there so I don't have to go all the way downstairs every time I want something to drink and next to the fridge is just some toys because I'll never stop buying toys I got old Skylanders and Disney Infinity from ages ago and I still kind of want to play through it today some CD-ROM stuff and UB Funkies from back in the day I loved those, I love CD-ROM games a lot and Video Now stuff because I like really old media and I used to watch these all the time growing up so anytime I see these I try and collect stuff for it I really like those I don't know if you guys ever had those next to all that is the drawing table where when we do art streams we sit here and draw I got a monitor that's mounted up there and then art supplies and stuff and the empty desk with some clutter on it <laughs> it's got this pretty Game Boy that we just reshelled the other day I really love that so much in this cool case a random 3DS and then in here I also have like the old stationery and books and stuff for the art that we do over there so collecting that stuff is fun I really like all that stuff and next to the drawing desk is the actual stream desk where we do all the streams we've done over the past many many years I got three monitors a bunch of virtual pets all over the place and the N64 because we've been playing Crystal and Stadium a lot which has been really fun uh, it goes through a retro tank for better video quality and my desk is kind of a little bit of a mess but it's pretty clear um, and above all that is my Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Advanced collection they're in golf ball cases but we'll go over that a little later and that's kind of like the stream setup just kind of like an overview and then also the art set up whenever we decide to do art and random things on the desk and then there's all the video games so I don't quite know where to start and I've never made a video like this so I guess we'll kind of move over there and go over like the manga shelf and then the DVDs and then we'll go through the rest of the games so let's go over to the manga shelf okay so we're at the manga shelf on the top is just a bunch of plushies and like a crane game I got a thrift store for a couple dollars an ATM some weird Furby toys from the 2020 McDonald's re redo of them the Pokedex a bunch of manga and a cute Tamagotchi piggy bank and my squeaky floor is still squeaking <laughs> my router and stuff more manga and the Shel Silverstein books, which I really love a lot. I have, I think, almost the whole collection now. I used to read them a lot when I was a lot younger. Um, more manga and weird bad books and really cool Japanese Tamagotchi books. And then underneath that is like the drawers that have my Pokemon games that I pull out games to shiny hunt with whenever we're streaming. It's just for easy access and then Back here is like my stream switches and like a virtual ant farm and the iPad we draw with. Um, and then this little baby Ikea bookshelf thing which is really cool. It's like a miniature Ikea like wardrobe thing that I just got to put stuff in. <laughs> then underneath all that is uh, the stream 3DS capture cards and the DS capture cards and all the cables. Below all that is the TCG that I collect whenever I get it. So like my whole life's worth of TCG is down here in these shelves. Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Neopets, E-Reader, Amiibo cards, whatever, and then random cables. Oops, lazy. I didn't put them away. <laughs> and then right next to the manga shelf is uh, 
the DVD shelf. I got a TV DVD combo that I got at a thrift store for like three dollars. Um, and then just a bunch of really bad DVDs that I get over time. Some are good, some are bad. Ben 10, Dragon Ball Z, uh, a lot of Garfield. I loved Garfield growing up and I still love it. A lot of Pokemon, some anime, some random stuff. Um, some albums over here, random anime. Uh, this is like all the Blu-rays that I have. More Dragon Ball Z and... Full house for no reason because I found it at a thrift store and it was the huge box set for a couple dollars so I liked watching that growing up so there's that. More random DVDs behind Pete's stuff. This is all my dog Pete's toys and food and water and stuff and now that we've kind of seen all the DVDs and the manga and stuff uh, we'll move on over to the first game shelf, which is the far left shelf, so let's head over there. Okay, so now we're at the far left shelf. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on this shelf, I just kind of put it on top, I didn't really know where it should go, so I got like the Kingdom Hearts Special Edition one, and like Terra Online from when that was new, I don't really play that at all ever anymore, but uh, the Sega CD games, which is not very many, I wish I had more. Uh, Sega Saturn games, I got all these from like a lot on Craigslist like seven years ago. Um, some Genesis games and cute Gudetama plushes and my Master System games that are complete in box which is nice. Um, just a bunch of empty boxes for consoles and the, the Ruby pre-order bonus and the cute cow from Harvest Moon and like a TCG Pokemon thing. And this really cool Sonic clock that I got like a long long time ago. Um, and then underneath the stuff that's all on top of the shelf is all the games, which is a lot. Uh, just from collecting for basically my whole life. Uh, <laughs> there's some Atari Lynx boxes with the games in them, complete in box games for Lynx. Uh, and then my Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games, which are, um, not too many, but there's really good ones. I think that... This might be blue actually, like my favorite inbox game. I'm so happy to have that. Um, a lot of these are from my childhood and then some of them aren't um, just through collecting. There's not too many, but I'm really happy with those. And then there's my NES games and SNES games. There's some NES here, Super Game Boy, a random fidget spinner, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I have like one Famicom game and it's a Dragon Ball Z one. It's pretty cool. Uh, my Super Nintendo games. I don't know if you can read all the spines of them, but that's my Super Nintendo games. There's a few more on the next part. A Wonder Swan game about a hamster. It's really cute. I don't have the box for it, but it's cute. Um, two more SNES games and then some inbox Japanese Game Boy games. There's red and uh, some random Tamagotchi and cute animal ones. Um, some Game Boy Advance video games still sealed, which is cool. Underneath that is just a bunch of NES games. This is all just from collecting over the last like 15, 20 years, whatever I had left over. Um, I lost all of my games a long time ago in a house fire, so I've just been recollecting for the last like 15, 20 years. And uh, it's been good, I think. I've gotten a lot of the things that I had back, which is really nice. Um, here's my GameCube collection, which is probably my favorite console. I have a fair amount of GameCube games. They're all pretty good. Two random Switch games, Mario Kart and Little Town Hero, a 3DS case. Um, more GameCube games, all games that I just really like a lot, and some random ones that I don't, like Shrek 2. <laughs> Um, underneath that is some Atari games in box and in television, a few N64 games and my Xbox One games. I'll just kind of go through them. Uh, I found some Xbox One games at Dollar Tree, which was really weird, so I have a couple duplicates. Um, some 360 games. They're not all in perfect order because there's more 360 games below, but then there's my Switch games. I don't know how well you can hear them or see them. There's a noise from the dog toys on the floor that I'm near. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see the spines though, but those are my 
Switch games. So I'll kind of go through them slowly. There's a fair amount. I really like the Switch a whole lot. Next to all those, there's the PSP games, which I don't have too many of, but mostly I got a PSP to play uh, Kingdom Hearts on, which I don't know exactly where that's at right here. This is the game I really bought this for, but I just collected some games that I liked over the time, and some that I don't like, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, some 32X games in box, I only have two, but 32X is really cool, and I'd like to have more, but I'm happy with having Knuckles Chaotix at least, that's a good one. Um, my N64 games, which are all impossible to see because there's no labels on them. This is the English translation of Animal Crossing, which is cool, and then, you know, stadiums and Mario parties and the good stuff. Some of the good stuff. Um, I have Conkers, but I'll make a video on those probably sometime later so you can actually see which games I have instead of pulling them all out now. Um, PS Vita, that's my small PS Vita collection, and some Atari games. Underneath all that is Xbox, and Xbox 360 again. I don't know how well you can see all that. Nothing particularly crazy, just some fun games that I've collected over time. And that pretty much is the entire left side shelf, and my floor is still squeaky, but <laughs> that's uh, the left side shelf. And I guess we'll move on to the TV shelf, which... Um, is pretty neat. So I have this couch here. It's like a double wide recliner that I got from Big Lots really cheap. So <laughs> there's that. Um, and then I just uh, play all of my games on this couch, which you can kind of see me. So hello, here I am. Um, I got a Super Note Club up here, which is like a Japanese learning laptop, which is cool. It's got like Tamagotchi game for it and like Conan. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, it doesn't really belong there, but it's just kind of there. And then on my TV shelf, I have a Dreamcast, an Xbox 360, a Jungle Green N64, a PlayStation 4, a Switch dock, and a Wii with the Wave Birds and controllers, and a Sega Saturn. So those are like the games, uh, the systems rather, that I just like to sit here and play. Um, and it's really cozy, and I just like playing games here. So there's that, and then I guess we'll move on to the right shelf. So let's head over to the right shelf. Okay, so onto the right shelf, like the left shelf, there's a lot of just stuff on top of it. Um, cool pops that were gifted to me that I appreciate a lot, they're all very cool. And then I have like a Ryoko Figma, and like a Charizard gold coin Pokeball still in the box, which is really cool. Um, Pre-order bonuses. And then this Animal Crossing house that I painted myself. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. <laughs> Some more Genesis games, and over here is more Genesis games in the box. I think the Genesis is really cool. I would have collected more for it if I was a little younger when it came out. Um, Pokemon Lab, which is only in Japan and was made for arcade games. I think it's really cool. I never got it to fully work, and before we get to the games, I guess, there's just a bunch of figures up here. Pokeballs and stuff above the TV. Just some cool stuff chilling up there that I've collected over however long. Um, but underneath all the stuff that's up there is like the DS games, which are probably my favorite. I have probably the most games for the Nintendo DS. The DS is definitely something I grew up with and collected. I got a lot of shovelware and a lot of really good stuff too. Um, so I'll go through these kind of slowly, so you can pause if you want to see. Um, I did make a video on my DS games though, so maybe I won't spend too much time on the original DS. Um, but we will be moving to the 3DS right after this. Um, they're in no particular order because I was kind of lazy putting them away, so... <laughs> um, the next row has a lot of my 3DS games, which is an unfortunate amount of Pokemon games, but... <laughs> I'm very happy to have them either way. Um, Yokai's are good. These are all for shiny hunting. Um, the Heart Gold Soul Silver is in box, which are probably also my favorite. They're in such good condition because I never really bothered them the whole time I've had them. Um, some more shovelware and Okami. Well, some of, no, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Um, below the 3DS is. 
Some more GameCube. That's uh, some less good GameCube games and Personas up here in the steel case and a wrestling game for no reason. Um, some Wii U games, which are decent. I like the Wii U enough. Uh, some PlayStation big boxes and Kirby for the Wii and an Epic Mickey paintbrush controller. Um, some PlayStation 4. Don't have very many PlayStation 4, but I did like the PlayStation 3 a lot. So here's my PlayStation 3 games. Katamari and Kingdom Hearts are probably my favorite ones. A few more 3DS. Again, in no particular order because I didn't put them away right. <laughs> There's some more though. Kid Icarus was really good. Ben 10 PS3 game. Some more random 3DS games that I liked a lot. The Sun and Moon. Down here is some... NES in box and some N64 and PlayStation 4. Um, hey you Pikachu in box. Just some in box N64. That's really cool. Not very many, but I like them a lot. Um, some PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 and Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. And on the bottom is Sega Dreamcast and PlayStation 1. Just a lot of random stuff that I've accumulated from thrift stores or <laughs> collected over the years. I really like bad PlayStation 1 games, so those are cool. I got some soundtracks from Club Nintendo and the Pokemon coins which are really cool and this Sega Saturn Tamagotchi game that actually has Sonic in it which is very cool. Um, so that's pretty much the whole entire left or right shelf rather. Um, and then we'll move on to the right shelf, the last one over here, so we'll go ahead and hop over here now. Okay, on to the last shelf. So up here is some really, really cute art. Micah made me this art with me in Nevada and Pokemon and Tamagotchis, and it's probably my favorite. I love it so much. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, and Instamax, which just kind of just sits up there. I also found that at a thrift store, which is cool and it works. Cool plushie. The Neo Geo Pocket Mini Arcade Box, and that was $5 at GameStop, so I got that. It's still new in box. Um, cool art by Filthy Crow. It's like a Kanto art poster, which is really neat. Um, and then the first shelf just has a whole bunch of Wii stuff and some Pokemon Freda coins. Sorry, that was loud. Um, those are for that cool 3DS arcade thing. I found someone's whole collection for like $7 on eBay, so I grabbed it. Um, just a bunch of odd Wii games and shovelware and some good stuff. There's good stuff mixed in with the bad stuff. Um, this Poke or Animal Crossing DIY that I drew and put in a drawer for no reason in some Steven Universe. I got this Kingdom Hearts paperweight at Hot Topic like 10 years ago. I don't know, it's just weird and cool looking. More Treta coins in here and some of the Pokemon 2000 movie plastic cards that move. Those are really cool. I like those a lot. Um, and in the second one, the second row, there's just more PlayStation 2 games. And a Dreamcast controller still in box and a Game Boy radio still in package. I found this at a thrift store for 99 cents, so that was really cool. Then there's just some paper games, the, the foldable paper games for the Wii and some Saturn stuff. Those are kind of cool. More Wii games and even more Wii games. Too many Wii games. Um, that's the Neo Geo Mini Arcade. I found that at GameStop on clearance for like 50% off. It's really cool because you can plug it into your TV actually and play the arcade games on your TV. I think that's really sick. Um, my Pokemon Switch Lite. Behind that is more Wii games. I have a lot of Wii games for some reason. Um, cool matching case. The Pokemon Pokeball LCD game, which is really cool from, I think, my childhood. Um, and then in the next row, just a whole bunch of PlayStation 2 games. I think it's all of my PlayStation 2 games. One random Wii game. Um, a lot of Dragon Ball Z. I love Dragon Ball Z a whole lot. Um, two, two DS's just for playing old games and stuff on. They're just kind of sitting in front of it. 
Um, this Celebi plush from the uh, Japanese movie promos. It's really cool. I hope we do get this here, but I ordered it from Japan because I thought it'd be not available here. So that's really cute and I love that a lot. More of the cards and this cool Wendy's Kecleon toy card from their kids meals. <laughs> um, more PlayStation 2 games and more PlayStation 2 games. Uh, in between there's just a bunch of Game Gear games, a bunch of Sonic and some Garfield games and Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. Maybe I'll include those in another video. Um, this cool Game Boy Advance that I got for my birthday, it's backlit and I love it so much. I got this case that it's in too, brand new from a retro game store for $5, that was cool. Um, I'll put this Celebi back up here, that's where he's living for now. Um, and in the next row, a bunch more PlayStation 2 games and a few PSP games, and this is for like a Wii Zumba game. Um, <laughs> but more PlayStation 2 games. I have a lot of PlayStation 2 as well, because that was another console I definitely grew up with. Collected a lot, a Tamagotchi box, because I just put it there, I guess. More PlayStation 2, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels to the Roses was so good. Some good games, some bad games. Um, some random empty cases, I think. Uh, some of these are just in case I find the games. I don't have the discs in them, except for maybe Halo. Some cool demo disc paper games, like the Pizza Hut ones. I got some of those sitting on top of there. Those are cool. I love those. Um, I got this 3DS and like seven games from the thrift store for like seven dollars, so that was like the find of the year. I really am happy about that. Another Pokemon coin is here, one of the spinny ones. Um, under here is more, this is the last row as well, just random games I suppose. Um, Xbox 360, some GameCube, more Wii. A lot of these are recent thrift store finds for like a dollar, which is sick. Um, some random PlayStation 2 games. And all of these Xbox games here were all also recent dollar store thrift finds, so that was really cool. Some pretty decent ones for a dollar, so that was that was really rad. Um, and then this is like a Blu-ray player to watch DVDs on, and the camera bag for the camera I'm using and stuff. And that pretty much does it for the whole last shelf. So that's pretty much all of my game shelves, we just kind of went over them for fun. I've never really made a collection video, but there is going to be more to this video, so I guess hold on one minute. Okay, so this is the room that I don't stream in, so you guys never see this room. This is kind of like my separation from work, it's like my live living area I suppose and I got some of my collection in here as well. This is the majority of the rest of it. That's my old computer set up from my last stream computer and some thrift store monitors and an, an old chair and a cute pillow. Uh, my bed obviously and my Tamagotchi collection. I won't go too in depth in this because I'll probably make a video about my Tamas but there's so many Tamas here. My second most favorite thing to collect is just video games and Tamas mostly. <laughs> Whole bunch of Tamas, things to fix the Tamas, old Tamas, virtual pets, just odd pets, just a bunch of stuff that I love. I could just play with these for literal hours and hours and hours, but that's my Tama collection. If you want to see more about that, I guess let me know in the comments if you want a full Tama video one day. Um, my floor is still squeaky, so you're still hearing that. And this is the left side of my handheld shelf. There's uh, my cool Gurren Lagann figures up there. Um, a Virtual Boy, some Game Boy boxes and some fake Game Boy boxes. <laughs> a cool Mario 3DS stand. And this Game Boy case that I love a lot. I've had it since literally forever, but I did have to re-get it after I lost it when I was young, so. I got that back, and then an Ardu Boy, a backlit DMG that I like a lot. I won't go over every single one, but this is really cool. It's a very pretty color scheme. I like it a lot. 
been really into backlit Game Boys lately. Um, a Game Gear box that I have the Game Gear to. It's in pretty rough condition, but I'm happy to have it. I'll put that over here for now. And then just some empty boxes and this Pikachu 3DS is still in the box and this red blue 3DS is still in the box. I never want to open them. Pokeball one that is still in the box and then the rest are pretty much empty boxes for stuff I already have. Then in the next row, just a bunch of Game Boys and my original Game Boy from my childhood. Um, dollar Store Thrift Store Find. The fake Game Boy from that's on top of the shelf. Mario Party for the e-reader. This side's pretty empty, just a DSi. The Thrift Store Game Boy Pocket that's got some screen bleed on it, so I'd like to fix this up one day. That'd be cool. It does work. I just turned the contrast, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and the next row has some Pokemon Mini stuff, e-reader stuff, SPs, um, Neo Geo Pocket Color. I really like the Pokemon Minis. I found those a long time ago. And to the right is Game Boy Advance from like garage sales that I've reshelled over the past however many years. This one's really pretty. Clear purple, clear orange, a SNES one, Pokemon one, and then my sister's childhood Game Boy that I'm holding on to just to keep it safe I guess. Um, this is a dollar store, or a thrift store dollar find purple one and it works perfectly and it's actually in really good condition. And then this is one I got also for another birthday. It's a backlit Game Boy Color. It's got the Game Boy Horror screen lens and the matching sticker. It's very pretty. I love playing on this. I actually play it a whole lot. Um, and below that, below these two, is a cool Pikachu through, uh, two, I think it's a DSi stand actually. Um, and then I got my DSi XL, which actually could go in here, in the box to it back there. This 2DS was from GameStop's online sale for like, I think $30, which was a good deal. And then just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, a calculator that can play Game Boy Color games, um, random odd consoles, a cool hard gold to silver case, these really cool Donkey Kong barrels that came from Toys R Us with just odd games in them. I have three of those so I can store odd games out of case in those. And then underneath all that is two Game Gears, two DS's that could be used for capture cards in the future, a really cool DSi that I reshelled. It's clear blue and I like it a lot, it's very pretty. And a Wonder Swan. Uh, which I actually changed the film in so the screen works, which is very nice. I really like this console, but I don't have very many games for it, but it's very cool. I like it. And the last cube has some PSP, PS Vita. This is a Vita capture card so I can stream from it. And a Game & Watch that I got at a retro game store years ago. It was missing the back, but I got a new back. And that pretty much does it from my left side handheld shelves. I really like this shelf a lot. It's very nice. And we'll move on to the TV shelf number two that houses most of my consoles actually. So we'll go ahead and hop over there. Okay, so as for TV shelf number two, this is where all of my consoles actually live. I just kind of pull them and bring them to stream with whenever I need them. But I have my original PlayStation 3 Xbox One X, I think, with the Kinect. Weird PlayStation 3 DVD remote. Uh, PlayStation 4 original before I had the Pro one. SNES Mini and a Switch dock. A Retron 5. A GameCube with HDMI mod that has a region switch on it so I can play Japanese games. A Wii U. PlayStation 1 with the screen and an NES from ages ago. Uh, my original Platinum GameCube that I've had forever. And there's a black Wii behind that. And on the bottom shelf, there is a Genesis Model 1, 2, and 3. And a Sega CD that I actually got for like $20 untested. And I just changed one fuse and it worked, which was very nice. So now I have a CD that works. Um, a Sega Master System. There's an Atari, I think, 2600 back there. I could be wrong. It's 
It's a very small one. Maybe it's not. Um, and then my original Xbox 360 Elite with the hard drive off because it doesn't fit in there with it. But it still works. It hasn't red ringed yet, which is good. Um, Super Nintendo and a PlayStation 1 with the uh, expansion pack in the back, which is pretty cool. And then that's pretty much just the whole TV shelf. Just where I leave all my consoles and play them in here. And then there's the whole right shelf, which doesn't have a whole lot of crazy stuff on it, but it has um, some empty boxes for a Genesis, Super Nintendo, the Genesis Mini, so they look kind of cool together, some really odd arcade games, some Dragon Ball Z figures, a Rob that I got from a garage sale for like $5 or less, I don't remember, it was so long ago. Uh, more figures. These are all the Rumble U Pokemon figures, and it's the complete set, which I'm very happy about. NES Mini, and I really like these arcade games a lot, so this is an extra, but I kind of collect these like mini arcade games. I really like them. They're so fun. Anything that's handheld with the screen, you've got me. And <laughs> I can't help myself sometimes. <laughs> Mickey Mouse TV remotes and the CRT remotes. Um, some board games, and this is where I keep all my memory cards and wave bird adapters so they don't get lost. I just know where they're at, which is nice. Um, PlayStation mini controllers that were like $2 at GameStop. In the next row is my Animal Crossing Switch that I still haven't opened yet. I don't, I can, it's too pretty. <laughs> A Sonic board game. Some more random arcade stuff. I think that's like where is Carmen San Diego or whatever. Um, a Wacom tablet for drawing and a cute plush. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is a VR here and just some random stuff like a cassette players down here because I like old media, I guess. <laughs> Too much. I live in the 90s or the 80s, I don't even know. I wasn't born then, but <laughs> I like all these old things. And then there's Two CRTs here. I'm quite happy with this Mickey Mouse CRT. I really do love it a whole lot. I like to play games on it if I can, or at least watch DVDs when I'm going to bed. It's on. It's got cool Mickey Mouse like overlays on it. And then a CRT from my childhood that I use a lot. Um, a PlayStation 2 for that one. An N64 and a compact VHS player so I can watch these old VHS tapes that I have. It's a lot of Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon and the McDonald's and Transformers and Digimon and stuff. I just have two little cubes of VHS tapes so I have Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Any cartoons, Tamagotchi. I really like watching VHS tapes for some reason. It just feels kind of nice. Um, and I think that pretty much does it. And then the Galaga Arcade that we built on stream. That was fun. Um, and I think that pretty much does it for all of my collection stuff. There's probably some other stuff that I definitely missed, but this was really fun. I've had a lot of people curious about the things that I collect and what exactly is in my collection over the last couple of years, so figured I would finally make a video on it. And if you guys saw something that you really liked or that sparked a memory, feel free to let me know. And if you liked the video also, um, let me know if you want to see more of any of the collection. This was really fun to make, I think. Um, I've never done something like this before, I'm not quite the greatest at it and whatnot, but it was good, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging.